Hey y'all, hey, it's Reese. Welcome back for a quick little video. First, let me say thank you to all of my old subscribers. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. New subscribers, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will know every single time I what come through with a new video. So with that being said, we are going to get right into this video. Oh yeah, and before I start, this is going to be a reaction video. So if you don't like reaction videos, then don't watch, okay? It's just as simple as that. All right, so we're gonna be talking about man. Man, girl, what you done got yourself into? People trying to say that it is a PR, um, a promotion um, thing that you're doing or whatever, and you're basically making it seem that way. No, I don't think it's a promotional shit, okay? I remember when you actually posted this video, and when you posted the video, you definitely was insinuating that you had been with the baby, and you were like, if I'm not mistaken, I don't, um, don't even ask me, that's my business, how I got his number and everything. And now, it then came to light and got you really looking crazy. So, I guess maybe you was on Instagram talking to somebody of Invisible and sending them some messages. Because the messages that he showed, okay, made you look like a complete fool. Like, you shouldn't even come on a camera. Do you realize, like a couple weeks ago, you were talking about Liv. You had recordings of what the girl said. You had text messages of what the girl said. So guess what? This one came right back to bite you in. That Brazilian. Okay? It sure did. Now Liv, I hope you are watching this video. Because girl, she over here looking crazy. Liv, do you see this? You remember how she called you out? She called you out. Yes. Coca-Cola, yes, she called you out, Liv. I, if you don't, if you haven't heard, then you done forgot. Just go ahead and watch them videos and roll them back. Now you see what's going on with her. She looking real crazy, okay? See, man, payback's a bitch. Matter of fact, while y'all watching this video, can somebody please go and send Liv a message and let her come on over to see what's going on and I bet you nine times out of ten she's coming and when she comes over here with her new butterfly lashes I'm telling you she is going to be on the floor because man you look so stupid right now it ain't even funny I wasn't even gonna speak on it because see a lot of times man when us reactors the you know the real reactors when we do videos on you nobody really want to watch you nobody I have to down there beg somebody I gotta get on here and act a complete fool for someone to watch my videos when they pertain to you okay this is why one of the reasons that I never ever did videos you get what I'm saying on you because the shit is too hard and I am too lazy did you did somebody go get live girl live I bet you live is over there sitting in front of her new computer you know putting all her butterflies into a, uh, a bag and you know all of that and get ready to take it you know to the post office in the morning Liv probably had those you know she likes butterflies she probably got the butterflies all in her stomach right now she probably like gotcha bitch uh-huh Ming you are looking completely stupid out here or shall I say stupid? Or shall I say stupid? See, Chrissy, I noticed, you know what I mean, that you've been around Ming. Because I think you feel like Ming is going to bring you more subscribers and is going to bring you up because she is this it girl. Girl, if you know like I know, you better go ahead, run, and hide and stay with your real friend, Jazzy. That's what you better do. Because me, I can tell you, she will have you in some shit that you cannot get out of.
All I gotta say, Liv, today is your day. Payback is a bitch. Liv, I already know you are probably getting up like you are a hundred pounds lighter from seeing what you've seen on this YouTube. Because see, what it's doing is, remember when you told us all that information? All it's doing is just looking like you are telling the truth. Because Mank over here lying. Yes, Pinocchio too is over here lying. Mm-hmm. She is. So, Mank, who's the liar now? Liv, who's the liar now? Girl, Liv, they got you over here. You know what I'm saying? You should be dressed in all white, feeling real angel-like, feeling real angelic. You know what I'm saying? Because what's going on with them is so many lies. You sitting over there looking real pretty because you out of it. But now, okay, I got a real quick question. What I don't understand is, how is it that these different guys, you know what I'm saying, that y'all talk to or whatever, why are y'all always calling other people men like jazzy you know what i'm saying you call her her husband or jazzy okay just just stop now jazzy you just said that your whole um dining room was flooded or whatever and what i didn't hear you say i did not hear you say well main came over to help me clean it up um no i didn't hear you say that so what i am leading up to yeah, I also got the screenshot where, and I'll put it somewhere in here, where you actually went to the guy that, I think his name is King Kong, the baby, whatever. Um, uh, what is it? His bodyguard? Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So, what nobody helping do you doing that, but you had the nerve to actually go and type in this message basically saying... Oh, she was only talking to her husband. You know what I mean? Why would you have to do that? And Jazzy, you are calling the reactors, which one I am, that we are trying to get clout. Girl, you jumped in it so fast to try to get clout. It was no need for you to say anything. The only thing that you should have been doing was minding your business or doing some squats and some push-ups like you've been doing all week. You have been doing an amazing job. Don't let Ming get you thrown off. Ming had already got you thrown off when y'all, you know, started to cope. Because I could tell y'all right now, I don't think it was Chrissy. I don't think it was you. I don't even really think too much. Well, you know, it may have been Liz. But Ming, I see her doing it. Because half of the time when her husband is actually on here, he look like he is in a whole nother place. Look at his eyes. They are dilated. And he can be across the room and you can see that. <sighs> Do y'all realize that it ain't even Saturday. It's Friday night and y'all are acting a fool. A fool. And y'all already know I am here for it. Completely. See, what you gotta realize is, man, you know, sometimes God will hit you in the back to make you remember where you came from. Now, like I said, you were over here letting us listen to our lives about voicemails, you know, and letting us hear them of what Liv said. You were over here releasing taxes. But now, look at what is going on with you. Like I said, Liv, go ahead on out and get you a piece of cake. Because this girl right here, she has got herself looking real crazy. See, now is the time, Liv, that you should go ahead on, you know, come on in and say the little smart shit that you normally say. Because this shit is just crazy. It is fucking crazy. And what top it all off, you literally got Jasmine on here. You see, Jasmine has a problem with minding her own business. Um, I don't understand because, see, it's like when something is going on with Chrissy, 
Chrissy can't go through it by herself. Jasmine always got to come in with, you know, and go through it with her. I'm just wondering, like, y'all don't use the same maxi pad, so why is it that you got to come and jump on here every time something happened to Chrissy? But now, if it happened to Meng, and she has jumped in full force, being a what do I call Jasmine? A tough Tony. Again, I am going to say a tough Tony. Jasmine, if you don't go ahead and sit down on that couch that one of your subscribers have bought you, girl, go sit down immediately because you already know you can't even take stress that well. See, probably if you were minding your business, you probably wouldn't even have to call Phillip's sister because you were so overwhelmed. You get what I'm saying? To even get your kids. See, where that come from is you were not minding your business. You get what I'm saying? You got to mind the business that pays you. Yes, you do. You have to mind the business that pays you. So, what I'm wondering is, Jazz, so when you get into it with all these different men or whatever that you know, you I mean, I don't know the names, baby, but when you get into, in, into it with them, do Chrissy, do Ming jump in it? Does Ming and Chrissy jump in it when you are talking about Philip? No. Because they don't have the same heart that you do. Girl, you'd have been doing so good. What you better do is go sit down and think about what you were doing all week and stick to it. I got to say, I have not seen one thing that you have did that was bad lately. Well, I may remember this pool, though. You put like a two and a half teaspoons of water in there I mean Jazzy you were doing so good I said you know what I just might have to go run out to Walmart and get her kids a pool because Jasmine has been doing amazing and then I hear this bullshit and man don't you really really get tired of lying like you lied about, you know what I mean, the um, pregnancy. And then you went, oh, I had a defaulty pregnancy test. So you mean to tell me you got two different pregnancy tests and both of them was default girl by. Then you skip from that to the surgery. Saying that you couldn't get the surgery because you were a superstar and the people were just calling up to the uh, clinic. And um, the clinic didn't want that type of publicity. So they um, told you no. So that was the second lie. Now you come up on this whole third lie about this gentleman. And you know what? The way he came across to you, he was very, very um, nice. I mean, really, really nice. But he was so nice till, you know what? It made you look like a complete moron and I couldn't get over it when I said wait a minute I said I know this girl did not just do this did she not think that this was going to come out because see with guys a lot of times when you know they celebrities and shit like that they look at I mean girls you know what I'm saying send them DMs all the time so what I think happened in this DM, one of his friends was like, whoa. And then he went to go look at, you know, the picture and look at you and was like, hold up. I never even said nothing back to her. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get off of it, um, man. Because, girl, you, can't no look, you cannot look no more dumber than what you look right now. All right, so if I was you, girl, go ahead and go back into, no, hold up. You know what? I'm not even going to say that. But what I am going to say is, don't you dare 
Don't you dare come on here. Tomorrow, next week, or any other week with that crime bullshit. Girl, do not come on here with that crime bullshit that you probably get ready to conjure up. I got a feeling you get ready to do it. And oh yeah, were you trying to like tell us like you weren't making no videos or whatever? Y'all gonna see that we don't give a fuck if you don't make no videos. I mean, that's like I just tried to tell you. When I do videos on you, it is like hard as hell. Okay? Um, I can't breathe. Yeah, that's how I be feeling when I do videos on you. All right. But, um, did anybody, like I asked y'all to do, did y'all go DM Liv this shit? Liv, I'm telling them to come and show this to you, Liv. Because, girl, payback is a bitch. But I'm going to go ahead and get off of here because I'm going to keep being a fool. It's Friday, but I'm going to go ahead and get off. Um, so thank you to all my old subscribers and welcome to all of my new subscribers. New subscribers, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will know what every single time I come through with a new video. Later.